It is the day after Mother's Day. I'm taking a break. So I need to focus on my doctoral studies. And as such, there are some things that I have to put on pause. And one of those is the podcast. I'll not be able to keep up with the weekly recordings and putting it together. Greetings, apreneurs. Welcome to the Entrepreneur Secrets Podcast, the show that uncovers the secrets to win with books beyond book sales and dominate entrepreneurship. Through exclusive author interview stories and must-have resources, you will discover some of the secrets and strategies to thrive with books and generate lasting income. I invite you to become an entrepreneur ambassador and join me in my mission to raise up 10,000 Caribbean entrepreneurs by 2030. Spread the word about the podcast and encourage more people to increase their impact and income with books beyond book sales. Without further ado, let's get into the show. It's episode 150 of the Entrepreneur Secrets podcast. I'm your host, C. Ruth Taylor. And in today's show, it is the day after Mother's Day and it will be our series finale <laughs> for now we're looking at part two on surviving the loss of a child and this is going to be a very special episode it is going to be an abridged version of a conversation i had with the brooks family on how they overcame the loss the sudden loss of uh, their son, brother Aaron, who died at 11 years. So Dr. Angela Brooks of the Turks and Caicos Islands, she wrote a book called Aaron, Journey of Love, Loss and Triumph, sharing her story of uh, that whole process. And she wants to offer hope, help and healing to those who are grieving and uh, on the broadcast, we were able to hear her son, Ashley, talk about it and to hear her husband talk about how he coped with the, the loss. And of course, Dr. Brooks uh, shared most of the story. There was also a little reading from chapter one. And you can get pre-order early bird copies from her website and you're going to hear all about that, and I'll put the links in the show notes. But this episode is also pretty special because, as I mentioned some time ago, I'm taking a break. So I need to focus on my doctoral studies, and as such, there are some things that I have to put on pause. And one of those is the podcast. I'll not be able to keep up with the weekly recordings and putting it together and so we're going to take a break resume in October when we have the annual writing competition we're going to prepare for it um, in October execute it in November and then start preparing for the annual Caribbean Entrepreneur Summit and the focus of 2025 God willing will be on marketing and I know you don't want to miss that. So this episode is going to be more than our average 30, 35 minutes. And so I'm going to primarily get into that. But thank you if you've been supporting the podcast all along. And uh, you can always go back and uh, listen to your favorite episode. Anything to do with publishing, anything to do with leveraging books you can go back and check so we're not abandoning the podcast i am committed to continuing until 2030 god willing because we're going to have a big celebration because we are moving towards the goal in terms of my doctoral studies i'm looking at creative poverty alleviation strategies and also looking at how entrepreneurship could become a model for poverty alleviation. So we're doing the dissertation proposal 
and this week my literature review <laughs> is due, which means I need to lock in again and do some reading and things like that. So in my absence, pray for me and enjoy, be inspired by this episode. I'll still maybe give an update on YouTube. I intend to finish. I have sat out two and a half years actively in the program. And before that, four years after getting through, and the statistics show that uh, one out of every two persons who start a doctoral program finish, and I want to be among the finishers. So pray for me. And without further ado, let's get into this uh, very inspiring interview. Go to bamasparks.com forward slash Dr. Angela Brooks and get the sample chapter, Baby Call 911, and pre order so that you can get your early bird um, copies. Or just wait until June 30 when it comes out on Amazon, where you can get your copy in ebook, paperback, or hardcover versions. So remember, of making many books, there is no end. Go pen it to win it and dominate author entrepreneurship. Ta for now, until next time. Your book is the perfect spark to get the fire going in your personal life, career, business, or ministry. Light that book spark today.